it going. So I'm gonna make a quick video on how to use my degree wheel oh, and it fell over. On, a, on an engine to show the port map on like, you know, like exhaust and intake duration, where your transfers are at, give you an idea of what, uh, what your engine's doing. And then I'll give you an idea of what you can do to modify them. So I'm gonna put this on the engine real quick. First thing you're gonna wanna do is put your adapter on. Make sure it's good and tight. So the, uh, you know, don't want it wobbling around when you're trying to get an accurate measurement. Then you're gonna take your degree wheel and your bolt, put it into it. Go ahead and thread it on. You wanna make sure your uh, piston's at top dead center when you do this. So I'm just gonna make sure it's top dead. Top dead center. Make sure, yep. Then you want to tighten it up. Use any old tool. I think it's a 14 millimeter bolt. Oh, come on. Yeah, 14 millimeter. All right. <clears throat> then. Then you're going to take a piece of solder and make an indicator. You're going to put this piece of solder on right here. Let me thread that on real quick. I use a piece of solder because it's easily bent and uh, this stuff is like half of a millimeter thick so you get a pretty accurate reading. You can get it pretty tight on your old uh, thread piece there. All right. Show you guys what I'm doing here. All right, so I got the piston at top dead center. I got the solder on the thing here, as you can see, and I have it at top dead center at zero. See, 10, 10, this would be zero. All right, so once you get that at zero, you're gonna want a note card. You wanna record what you're uh, doing, so take a fresh note card, grab yourself a pen, you're going to want to write down four things on your note card. You want intake, transfer, exhaust, and then go ahead and write yourself below down on that card because below down is very important. All right, so once you got those written down, you're going to take your uh, engine here. I don't have piston rings in, so I can turn this real easy. But I'm gonna turn on my light so you guys can see. This cylinder is actually uh, one that I ported, so you're gonna notice the exhaust is a lot larger than stock. So right there, you can see where the exhaust is cracking open. I'm just gonna go to the very tippy top of that, right about there. We're gonna measure it. So top dead was here. Right now we're right at about 74, 75-ish. No, 80, because right here is 90. Well, I'd say we're right at about 85. So this is for the exhaust. I'm going to write 85 right here. Then I'm going to turn it. So now we're going down to zero. So it'll be 85. We just hit zero. You can see the exhaust port in there. Now the piston's coming up. It's going to close. Come on, close. Right about there, I'd say it closes. And we ended up at, let's see, so we got 85, 86, 87, 88. So you can write down 88. You can do a little math, add those together. 80 plus 80 is 160, 85 plus 85 is 170, plus 3, so 173 degrees of duration on the exhaust. Then go ahead and bring your wheel back to top dead center. Make sure it lands on zero when you get to top dead. Uh, it's not landing on zero. It's not what I like to see. 
is my indicator low. That might be an inaccurate measurement. Anyway, now we're going to measure the transfers. So you're going to go down to your transfers crack open, like just like that. Figure out where they're cracking open at. It's right about here. So it looks like 60 and 70, so about 65. Write that down. Whoops, 65. Now we're going to go all the way down and around until they close again. Oh, my indicator is getting moved by my degree wheel. Oops. Right about there. And on this side it looks like about 65 as well. 65 plus 65 is going to be 130. Sorry for the unneat writing here guys. But it's kind of a hurry video. Alright, so now you know your transfers and your exhaust. We're going to come over here to the intake. Now, this is a piston port. So we're going to wait until that piston comes up and starts cracking open. Right about there. So we'll come over here and want to take a record of that. So we're looking at 40. We're at 40 down. Now you go until it goes all the way up. All the way back down. Till it closes. Right about there. Where are we at now? So we started at 40 here. 40 plus 80 is 120. It's 130. Looks like 134. The way I got that is, if you take this 40 to zero, that's 40 degrees of duration. Another 40 degrees of duration here is 80. Plus another 40 there is 120. Plus 10, uh, you got 130, and then each one of these counts as one, so about 134 of intake duration. Or if you do the math, it's about 74. Well, no, 90 plus 4 plus 40 would equal 134. So anyway, you write down your du durations here. Now, to calculate blowdown, you're going to pull out your calculator. You're going to take 173, subtract 130 of your transfers. And that's going to give you... 43 degrees of blowdown, which is a lot. Alright, so I'm just going to clean these up real quick. The intake was 134, the transfers was 130, the exhaust was 173, and the blowdown was 43 degrees. Now with this, with this engine, I actually designed the cylinder to run on a uh, 38 millimeter crank and this is a Zeta bottom end with a 39.5 millimeter crank so my numbers have changed between those two um, so that's why I have so much blow down which is that's excessive 43 degrees is a lot um, anyhow so this is how the degree wheel works um, let me explain a little bit about engines and what makes them run so on a piston port you don't want too much intake duration I actually prefer to leave my uh, my piston skirts alone even though that's not entirely true I got a piston skirt right here where I shaved that sucker down and that gave me like 165 intake duration and I, I made a video of uh, the first of January and that thing had so much intake duration that down low, I couldn't even run it. It would just bog out and die. Um, anyhow, you want your intake duration on a piston port between 110 and 130 max. If you want something that's going to be streetable. If you want to haul ass and, you know, hit wide open throttle and not worry about bottom end, I'd go anywhere between 130 to 150. Anything after 150 starts getting a little unusable. Um, then you'll just have to be burning a bunch of clutch to take off. 
Excuse me. Take this jug off real quick. Um, inside here I got a 31 millimeter wide exhaust port and on the intake side all I did was widen it just a little bit. Um, this was ran as a piston port so I wanted to keep velocity up. Um, I smoothed out the transfers as you can see there. Same with this side, I smoothed out the transfers. You don't ever want to raise your transfers. Um, more transfer duration means your your power band is going to be a little wider and it's going to have a little less torque to it until you get up higher in the RPMs. Um, and I left the inside of the ports alone here as you can see. This cylinder was kind of done up pretty quickly. wasn't really expecting it to do a whole lot besides get me down the road. But anyhow, that's how you use a degree wheel. And uh, I'll make some more videos later.